All right, well, here's another review of the Sight Mark Red Dot. What a great little red dot. I love this thing. It's kind of big, kind of bulky. It kind of looks like an EOTech. It's not. And you will not hear in this review anywhere where I say, it's a poor man's EOTech, because I hate that. So because I bought a $100 site, therefore I'm a poor man? No. I can't afford an EOTech. But I like this site. So that being said, let me explain a few things from my opinion. I like the site. I like the fact that I got it on sale for a whole lot less than I was supposed to spend for it. The old lady and I were walking through, uh, walking through Dunham's, and I happened to see it there. They wanted a hundred dollars for it, which is standard price for these. And I said, "Hey, you know, question? Can you give me any kind of a deal?" And the guy says, "Well, I'll tell you what. This is a floor model." I don't know for sure if we had the box or not, but this is a floor model. I'll sell you this one here for 30% off. 100 bucks for the price, 30% off, that's $70. Doesn't take a mathematician to figure out, hey, that's a pretty goddamn good deal. I said, okay, cool, sign me up. For 70 bucks, we snagged the thing up, brought her home, loved it. Now, I hear a lot of negative comments about these things, especially if you read the reviews on Amazon. Holy shit, these people are fucking retarded. All right, the first thing I keep hearing, it ghosts, it double vision, it does this, it does that. The site doesn't do anything. The site puts up a view. Your eyes are doing the double vision. Your eyes are the ones that are making it do what appears to be a ghost effect, a circle within a circle. It's your eyes, it's not the site. The site does not deserve the negative reviews that it's getting because people are too fucking stupid to understand how the site works. So to make it easy to, to use one of these properly, if the thing is ghosting as you call it, or if it's double visioning for you, double, you know, putting up double sight, dim it down a little bit. You probably have the, the site way too bright. I noticed it too when I took it out of the box, slapped it, you know, looked at it with my hand, and I was like, hey, this thing's awesome. Threw it on the rifle, and I'm like, oh, wow. And then I noticed if I aimed it outside, it was nice and clear, but if I aimed it in my dark garage, it kind of looked like shit. That's where I got the, the ghosting effect. Well, do a little research on the internet, and it'll explain to you exactly what that is, what it's caused from. It's not the site. Again, it's like so many things in the gun world. It ain't the site, it's the operator. There. I just like how it looks. <laughs> so anyway. So as soon as everybody says it goes, it, it immediately ignore their review because they're an idiot. Another thing is, people will put the thing on, they'll grab a hold of it and goes. It jiggles. Well, so do your fucking tits. There's nothing wrong with the sight. It's not loose. You're an idiot. Pop the sight off. Flip it over. It comes with a little wrench, okay? That little wrench goes right where my thumbnail's at. See that little, that little nut right there? Put the wrench right there and tighten it up about a half a turn. Maybe a full turn. Throw it back on. Bam! It locks on, and it's tight. Wow, that was difficult. That's worth a one-star rating, because people are too fucking stupid to understand how to operate the thing. With all of these sites, and equipment, and things like that, they come with this doodad. This is called a box. In that box, there is this thing. Inside of it are words. The words are, here, dumbass. Here's how you fix everything that you think is wrong with this site. There's nothing wrong with it. It's you. So, I have no pro or no cons for anything on this at all. I guess battery, people say battery life is really shitty on them. That hasn't been my experience, but... You know, who knows? I don't have a whole lot of time on it. Maybe three, four hours, but it's still nice and bright. Haven't had any problems with it. 
Uh, let's see. One of the other things that really pushed me to this site, instead of just a regular small red dot, I like this hood on the outside. I'm thinking if I'm ever in a survival situation, and that act, you know, and I'm crawling through the mud, and that thing bangs up against a rock or, a, or a, let's say, a tree root or a stump or something, I think this here is going to help protect it a lot more than just that little flimsy aluminum piece that goes around a regular red dot. My opinion. That's what direct. That's what pushed me towards it. That's why I like Eotex too. But I just I can't afford a four or five hundred dollar red dot. Now something I don't like about this, but I love at the same time. I love the coated lens on it. I love how it's orange or it's blue or it's red or it's green, and I think that's awesome. Sitting here on the, you know, on the bench showing it off. I think that's cool looking. When I'm out in the field and all I can see is a bright blue or orange or red screen and then, I mean there you can kind of see it turn a little bit blue but in my experience even at 50 yards I can look up and see a bright orange lens looking at me like if I set it up on a stand and walk down 50 yards and move myself around I can see the orange from the lens I love the coated lens because it's cool but at the same time I don't like it because I can see it it's not necessarily a negative thing. It just is part of it. It comes with it. If you want one that isn't coated, buy one that isn't coated. You know, they they make other red dots. But for 70 bucks, it slapped on, had no problems with it, easy to adjust, battery life seemed to be decent for me. I like the fact that it's quick detach, because I can snap this thing off. And I'm done. Throw on my scope or whatever if I if I so desire, or just run without it. That's all cool. You know, I like that. I like the fact that I can co-witness from my front and rear sight with the dot. That's nice too. It's the right plane. It's the right height. I like that. I don't like that it's heavy, and I feel that it's heavy when you know when I built this 4.8 pound rifle, and then I throw a, a six and a half ounce red dot on it. Well, it added a lot of weight to that rifle. I built this rifle for the old lady because she's, you know, 90 pounds and five foot tall. She can't handle a 15 pound rifle because otherwise I'd have stuck an AK in her hands. But, so it is a little heavy compared to the smaller red dots, especially like something like a micro red dot or something. But, so, not a complaint, just an observation. So, I guess that's about all I can think of. Um, if you're having any problems with the red dot giving you a blurry effect, open both eyes. You know, it, it's not a scope. You're trying to look through it with one eye. It can throw your vision off. It can give you a double vision. It can give you a parallax problem, whatever. Try using both eyes. It worked for me. You know, this is from a novice point of view towards novices. This, you know, I'm not telling nothing fancy here. Here's how you use a sight mark because he already knows. You know, I'm not telling Tim at Military Arms Channel, hey, here's how you use a sight mark. He already knows. He's not watching my videos. Neither one of them are. Because they know more than I can possibly tell them. But if you're watching this, that means, hmm, I'm thinking about buying one of these or I bought one of these and now I don't know what to do. Well, you're probably in the same boat that a lot of people are when they first buy them. They don't know what they're buying. They don't know what they're doing. And they're looking for advice. So this is from an amateur to an amateur. So, that being said, I'm done. This is a nine-minute review on a $100 site. And it should have been explained in five minutes, but I do have a tendency to ramble. So, But... I hope it helps, and if it doesn't help, well, I'm sorry, but if it did, well, good. And I guess that's it. I'm going to wrap it up, and as always, kiss my ass.